Hi everyone. So the two items that I'm going to show you today are two Cartier necklaces. The filming location is a bit bizarre, but that's because they are in direct sunlight right now. And I wanted to give you guys the chance to see what they look like um, with direct sunlight on them. So we can see if either one glistens more than the other. So the one, hopefully my finger's not in shadow, um, but this one right over here, this is the love necklace with the two diamonds. You can see the white diamond and also the pink diamond. The pink diamond, if you can see it, is right there. The white diamond is right there. And this is also the one that has the double chain. And then the one next to it is the ring one, the interlocking rings necklace. These are both in um, rose gold, which looks to my eye like gold, to be honest with you. Um, pink gold, I think, is actually what Cartier calls it. The length doesn't really matter because you can get it adjusted to whatever size you need. Um, mine happen to be in two different lengths. Um, the one over here, the double chain and double diamond one, is 15 and a quarter, which is getting pretty close to choker length. And this one is 15 and um, three quarter. I wanted both of them to be very high necklaces. But this is just direct sunlight. I wanted you guys to be able to see it. Both of them have a lobster claw clasp. The interlocking rings necklace, which is this one right here, um, it doesn't have any kind of adjustment. It's just got the single loop. And then the double diamond, double chain one has an extra piece on it that dangles down where you can cinch it up uh, lower and or higher and kind of get in there a little bit. Hopefully this vantage point is okay. I'm not a jewelry expert by any means, but I wanted to just show you guys these two necklaces side by side in case you're considering one over the other. Um, I've had them both for quite some time. I'm sorry about the shadows, but like I said, I'm trying to do it in the sunshine for you guys. Um, and I'll insert some pictures also of me wearing them. I wanted something that could withstand daily wear and not be taken off. I've taken it off only for these videos. And I bought both of them with the intention of giving away the one that I did not uh, prefer. I wanted to try both of them out and then kind of give the one away that uh, wasn't my preference. Um, my daily life basically is going to work every day and then exercising about two to three hours daily. Um, so it had to be a necklace that I felt would be able to withstand a lot of high impact aerobics and sweat on a daily basis, so to speak. Um, and wouldn't really get in the way of my life and my daily functions. So to be honest with you, I did find I had a preference for the double ring one for sure. Um, it also makes a beautiful little tinkle kind of sound as it uh, you know sits upon your neck when you're doing a high impact activity. You can hear like the sweetest little sound coming from it. Um, I will say that both of them uh, from a distance, let me take it out. If you're standing in front of somebody, that's kind of how they look. You have absolutely, sorry for the shadow there, I'm in the sun. Um, you have absolutely no idea what you're looking at. That kind of looks like what they look like from a distance. Um, and even when you're up close on somebody's neck, you can't make out what they are. Um, of course, if I go in really close, you can see the little screw locks and the word love. Um, and then mine has a pink diamond in it, which I don't believe they make anymore. And then the other diamond. And when you're wearing this particular one, um, the chain never sits like that. So even though it's a double chain, it always, always, always looks like a single. Um, so that's one downside of this particular necklace is that you cannot from a distance see the diamonds um, and you cannot uh, ever really see that it has, well, basically four chains. Let me kind of move it out a little bit if I can. Like I said, I'm not a jewelry expert. This wasn't done properly, but there we go, a little separation there. So you actually have four kind of strands, but you can never see that. They always stay together, um, and it looks more like that when you're wearing it. Um, this one can't see what it is either from a distance, but I guess, you know, because it's more iconic, if more people see it up close, they might know that these rings are, you know, from the Cartier line. Um, my only regret is that I didn't get this one with the diamonds because I like it so, so much. Let me see if I can go in a little closer. I like this particular necklace so much 
um, that I'd wish I'd gotten the one that had the diamonds. Um, so definitely this one with the interlocking rings is my preference. Absolutely love it. This one I find um, shines better, so that's kind of why I put them in the sun. Um, you can kind of see there once again. Um, I just thought I'd film a quick video for you because I know when people are looking at uh, one and or both of these, you know, it just helps to see any kind of video you can. I know uh, for myself, I love to research to death before I make a purchase and, you know, anything is helpful. So hopefully you find this a little bit helpful to see them side by side. Um, this one shines much, much better. Uh, let me turn it over. That's the back side. It's really pretty. I would say between the two, it's a bit more luxurious, for sure. Um, it just feels a bit more dainty, which is why it's actually not my preference because of, you know, my lifestyle. I preferred this one. Um, and I love the sound this one makes. So anyway, I hope it's helpful. Um, like I said, I'm not a Cartier expert. I mostly do handbag reviews, but I just thought it might be interesting for you guys to see these, uh, you know, side by side. Um, I did end up, like I said, I gave this one away. This is my daily necklace. I don't ever, ever take it off. Um, I've been wearing it straight. I've owned them, I bought them at the same time, actually. I bought them within like a day of each other. Um, and I've owned this one, I want to say, close to a year, maybe 10 months, something like that. And the only time it's come off is uh, for the video. I cleaned it and decided to do a video. Um, and then the person I gifted this to, I asked if I could use it so that I could show you guys. They were kind enough to let me do that. Um, but yeah, they love theirs um, and I love mine. So it's worked out really good. Um, but this one's definitely my preference. I think it can uh, withstand daily wear. I, you know, lotions, oils, hair products, all that kind of stuff. It's done really well. I don't see too much wear and tear on it. Um, I can't really speak to this one too much. Um, but you can see there that everything is quite clear. I don't see any major scratches or anything like that. I wanted to let you guys see how they look. Um, this is at its shortest length and this one is at its regular length. That gives you an idea if you were to stack them. Um, another thing that maybe I didn't mention was that with this particular one, um, you can see how when I'm talking, it kind of goes into that little, I think it's called the clavicle. It dips into that little hollow that we all have in our neck. Um, so it makes it even harder to see exactly what it is. You can see the diamond a little bit better, but that's because I'm super up close. And you can see that's how the rings sit. Then I'll pull out a little bit. Um, but that's if you were to layer them, um, which I don't do. I, this is my only one, the bottom one. But hopefully that's helpful.